Last week on the Cruising Kiwis, we exchanged a fish for a cooking lesson. Do you mind if I try Yes, that? you should try one. I should try one. Rob taught Finn all the technical terms for the engine. Just let go of the thing, put the thing inside the bowl. And we hoisted the EMC up the mast. Get on with it, this week we bring you a tale from the captain's log. This story occurred on the first sailing adventure we took into the South Pacific in 2015. Got into Musket Cove last night from Mana Island, and I've got a story to tell you about Mana Island. This occurred on the first sailing adventure we took into the South Pacific in 2015 and we had just picked up Alison and Hilary, Rachel's sisters. Now Hilary had just flown out from England I'm really missing the tube. and landed in Fiji, jumped on the boat and we had just sailed out to Mana Island, two to three hours. Now this wasn't the first time we'd been to Mana Island, we'd been there several times before. But we wanted to show Hilary and Alison the snorkeling and the coral there. So we dropped the pick and we waited. This is the story about the day we dragged the anchor and nearly lost the boat. And how Finn and Rachel saved the day. So we sat on the boat for an hour and we're still static, it was all good on the boat. So we got our flippers and snorkels on and all went for a swim. We swam about 200 metres to the coral spot and we were there for about five minutes when Rachel called out to me and she said, Hey Rob, the boat's facing the wrong way. Javala was dragging anchor and was drifting out to sea. Now Rachel, she did a lot of swimming when she was a young thing and she is a world triathlon champion. In 2012, she won her age group. So she backed herself to go. And swim after the boat. I'm not such a strong swimmer, a bit of a stone really to be fair, but I thought, well, I'm going too. So off we went. Blow me dusters, neck minute, fin swing alongside us as well. I'm stuck with a decision now. We don't need three people to go and get this boat. Finn is actually a stronger swimmer than me because he's done swimming as well at Swimming Club. Little 13 year old, so here I've got the decision. Do I let Finn go with Rachel or not? It's a terrible decision to have to make. And I say, well, I'll just set Finn and Rachel off together. So off we go, me and Finn, into the blue. Every time we looked up, we were no closer to the boat. This was going to take a lot longer than I thought. And then I saw a speedboat coming past our boat and I thought, oh, thank goodness, Rob's told someone of our predicament. While they're swimming to rescue the boat, we've got out of the water onto the beach, Hilary, Alison and the boys. Uh, and I'm going, I've got to do something, what can I do? Is there anything else I can do here? And I thought, the resort was just 1500 metres 2k down the beach. Maybe I could run to them and they'd get a boat and they'd go out the other side of the island, around the end of the island and come back and hopefully try and catch them. Then I saw a boat going directly for our yacht. I thought, yes, I've seen our boats adrift. And I think, hallelujah, we are saved, we are saved. But the next time I look out, that speedboat is disappearing on the other side of our boat. Rob hadn't sent anybody to help us. We were going to have to help ourselves. Now bear in mind, this was not a flat calm day. It was 25 to 30 knots of wind and it was rough as guts in the water. Big waves everywhere. 
and we were quite a way offshore by now. And we saw them for about a minute or two minutes and then they were gone. The rough waves, 25, 30 knots, it was choppy as. I felt helpless. Is it all of us standing on the beach doing not much? It's a long swim in rough water. Ben and I stayed side by side because it was a bit scary being a kilometre offshore. Finally, we make it to the boat. Ben gets there first, he rushes up the steps, turns on the engines and turns the boat towards the beach. It's a message to Rob that we're safe. Well, what a relief that was. Man, we'd been waiting for ages. They'd swum over a kilometre and they were safe. The boat was turning back to us. We were like, woo! After being so powerless, it was just a massive, massive relief. So, that was the first time we have ever dragged anchor. Five years since, still no problems. So what was the lesson learned? This is the Navionics track recording from that day. And you can see in the hour that we sat waiting to check the anchor was holding, we were moving back and forth slightly, but that's really normal and it looked like we were holding. And then the boat just takes off on its own and Finn and I had to take off in hot pursuit and chase the boat down. It took us till we were 1500 meters offshore before we caught it. So why didn't the anchor hold? The main problem was we didn't put out enough chain. If we'd put more chain out, we'd have been fine. We'd probably have to put quite a bit more chain out, but if we had done that, we would have been fine. You can have anywhere between three and five times the length of chain as the depth of the water you're anchoring in. So if it's five meters deep, you should be at least 15, potentially 20 or 25 meters of chain let out. It's the chain on the ground that actually holds you in position. And on that particular day, unbeknownst to us, we were anchored on the edge of a drop-off. And our anchor was right on the edge of that drop-off. It had been, if it had been five or six knots of wind, we probably would have been okay. 25 to 30, definitely not okay. The boat was blown back by the wind. The chain was being lifted up, so there was less and less of the chain in contact with the ground. The anchor then began to slowly move back until eventually there was nothing holding us and Javelo was adrift. We were also exceedingly lucky that we had very good swimmers on board and that we didn't go for a walk. I mean, if we'd gone ashore for a walk, we'd have had no flippers. If Rachel and Finn had had no flippers, there's no way they would have caught the boat. So as I mentioned earlier, this was four years ago. We haven't done it since and we hope not to do it again touch wood. So, happy days! If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it and give us a thumbs up. It helps us heaps. Soon fix up your egg